If you visited the Matsu Islands in spring, you may have seen one of their greatest natural wonders, blue tears, a kind of algae that glows blue along the seashore. Usually the algae is only active in spring and early summer, but this year it baffled locals by glowing up once more in October. Now ocean researchers have solved the riddle. A fascinating blue glow emerges from a pitch black sea. After years of research, scientists have a new insight into this stunning phenomenon. The timing of a spell of blue tears is based on reproduction. They are mating. The study found that the algae feels threatened when its food sources diminish. That causes it to start a process of sexual reproduction. Seeds drop to the ocean floor where they wait for good weather and an abundance of food. When the seeds mix into the ground, it will sprout, producing the glowing algae we then see on the water. When the water temperature is above 27 degrees, we don't see the blue tears. Now it seems that April to late June or early July is the peak. Going through from summer into winter, the water temperature drops. It reaches 27 degrees in autumn, but it doesn't produce a recurrence of blue tears. We were always stumped by that. It was one thought the blue tears could only appear from March to July in water below 27 degrees. But this year, they appeared again in October. That's because the ocean floor was repeatedly stirred up by Chinese dredging ships. That stimulated the seeds to sprout. Once we knew this, we made a daring hypothesis. We believe that in the waters around Matsu, there are a great many blue tear seeds. We want to go there and dredge up the sand to look for treasure, to follow our dream of the blue tears. The research team has realized the blue tears phenomenon may be precipitated by humans. They think in the future it might be possible to make the algae glow all year long.